Hi, I'm Marcus McGee. And I'm Rhino. Welcome to Le Chef Passu. Which means lazy. Which is awesome. Today we're tackling risotto. Or risotto, as Marcus says. As most people I've heard say. Yeah, but I'm lazy and pretentious, so I say <laughs> risotto. Uh, we're doing it in the vegetarian style, so we're not using chicken stock. We're also doing it gluten-free, and there will be a vegan option for you. It's really easy. We're also skipping that whole stirring for 40 minutes thing, because... I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. So in order to make your risotto, we're first gonna chop up an onion. And when it says chop, I kind of sliced it instead of chopping it. Uh, we... Which, like plantains, they're large, leafy. <laughs> if you happen onion. to have too much onion, you can also take it out later. Um, <laughs> it's true. Because I did that also. So you're basically going to saute up one cup of onion with one clove of garlic. My garlic is pre-minced. I like it that way. It's easier. You don't have to peel the garlic because why do that? And then you're just going to saute that up. When it's done, you will saute in olive oil, by the by. Then you are going to put in two cups of water and bring it to a boil. <laughs> you're going to put in one cup of short grain rice. I only have long grain rice. Okay. So... <laughs> This is not going to be a risotto failure. This is going to be amazing. Then you put in here one cup of rice and herbs. We're using herbe de Provence, which is fantastic. has a nice lavender, tarragon, rosemary, thyme scent to it. It doesn't actually say what's on the bottle, except for the fact that it is made in San Francisco. Yay! Then you're going to not unboil it. <laughs> <laughs> um... What are you going to do to it, Ryan? <laughs> oh my god, this is really funny. Then you're going to bring it to down to a simmer. And then you're going to take a pan, invert it onto your other pan, and... Unless you have a lid, in which case you can just cover. <laughs> While that is cooking, you are going to marinate some portobello, about a cup of portobello mushroom, baby portobello mushroom, in balsamic vinegar. And then after it is done, cooking when all of the water has evaporated you're going to mix in maybe like half a cup of almond milk and about yeah we'll just go with a cup shredded mozzarella it's cheese so if it's not perfectly shredded it'll melt a traditional risotto becomes creamy from the slow stirring that releases the starch within the rice our lazy version becomes creamy from the almond milk and mozzarella. Mozzarella is a bit stringy, so you could use a different cheese if you like. Um, but this is a recipe that I found online and I wanted to try out to see if we could shortcut risotto. Get a bottle of wine. Big one. One of those like Costco ones with the little handle. <laughs> Alright, so we'll put this in the middle. Yay! And there you have it. Risotto! I guess it's technically creamy mushroom vegan risotto. Okay, well, it, there's cheese in there. Um, sort of like fried rice with mushrooms sort and of basil. Like it. It's not that fried, but it's delicious. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Tune in next time. We're doing a beer special. Ooh, oh. you should have invited me to that. If you'd like to check out my page as well, it's Marcus McGee. Dot com. Or you can just click on him. I'll make it easy for you. Oh. Easy. Oh, 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 yeah, and I designed his website. What? <laughs>